here. So next up, Florida, trending the right way, fourth most points, but the bad luck of running into Tampa in the playoffs, and that spelled doom for them. Um, and now we we'll go back to Ron and, and see who the, uh, the Panthers will contribute to this new franchise. Thank you. From the Florida Panthers, the Seattle Kraken select Chris Dreger. Kraken, Chris Dreger. Chris, welcome. By the way, this is the uh, this is the big reveal. This is the brand new Kraken home jersey. How, how does that feel on, and what do you think of this scene here, Chris? Yeah, it's a pretty incredible sight. Uh, Great to see everyone here. Uh, tons of energy. You know, I flew in this morning and uh, there was just a bit of a buzz in the city. So uh, this is incredible um, and really exciting time. So I'm excited to get it's, started. It's a long journey south Florida to, to Seattle, but welcome yeah. to your new home. Yeah, thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah, Chris, it, it took a long time to kind of prove yourself and establish yourself as a, as a proven NHL goalie. What's this moment mean to you be, to be a part of this group? Yeah, I mean, it's a life-changing moment for me, for sure. Uh, it's been a long road. Um, spent a few years in the minors and uh, yeah, went from, from Florida for the last two seasons, but uh, to have my start here, um, you know, with the expansion team in, in Seattle and be a part of the Kraken is, is pretty incredible. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited to get things started. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks Thank for making you. the long journey in. Sit back and relax now. We'll watch uh, the rest of the roster get filled out. Chris, All right. wish you well, man. Take care. All right, next up in the order, Montreal Canadiens. Ron, the selection there. From the Montreal Canadiens, the Seattle Kraken select, Kale Fleury. So Kale Fleury, a forward. Yep, and seems to be good luck to take a Fleury in the expansion draft. So Fleury's a right shot defenseman. Showed some promise in juniors in the AHL, and he actually played against his brother Hayden in his first NHL game in 2019. So Seattle will be hoping he'll take the next step in his development here. Drafting a Fleury in the expansion draft, uh, it was a very good move by Las Vegas four years ago. We'll see as Kale joins the team. Now, Ron, there are hockey fans around the world that have been speculating that goaltender Carey Price might be a new member of the Kraken. He was out there available. What's, uh, what's going on behind the scenes in, in terms of the, the Price situation? Well, I think anytime you see a name like Carey Price available, you have to consider it. And Certainly we did that. We had a lot of discussions, and at the end of the day, we made the decision that uh, we did and go in a different direction. Well, we'll uh, welcome Mr. Fleury to the roster. I think Habs fans are maybe breathing a sigh of relief. Yeah, just, I mean, you, you think about the salary cap situation. It, it's really important in a new team to keep that flexibility. I'm sure there's so many factors go into building a team, Chris. You know, salary cap, the, the age Frozen. of the player, and, you know, this is a long-term thing. And obviously, a lot of moving parts for Ron and his staff. All right, next up, the Ottawa Senators, a team that struggled in the division. Uh, very young team, most of the top talent under 25, so a lot of guys not available to be, to be picked here, and that did not leave a whole lot of choices, perhaps. But to announce the pick from the Senators, please welcome to the stage a Seattle legend, Grammy Award winner, and a huge sports guy, McLemore. Welcome. This is, uh, this is in, in some ways, a, a hockey version of Chris Shop. <laughs> very, very similar. L looking for value here, so. Completely. The stage is yours to announce. The Seattle, pick. what's going on? <laughs> you guys ready? I said, are you guys ready? <laughs> Me too, man. New chapter in the city. This is an amazing thing. I'm fired up. From the Ottawa Senators, the Seattle Kraken select Joey Decord. He's a goaltender, former ASU Sun Devil, coming off surgery and hasn't played a lot of NHL hockey. No, he's only 24, nine NHL starts, but he's looked really promising. And he was a finalist for the, the top goaltender award his senior year at Arizona State, led them to the playoffs. And for the first time, it's important to have depth, Chris, in that goaltending position. That's exactly what Decord will bring to the Kraken. Now to Tampa Bay, the two-time defending Stanley Cup champions. They did a good job protecting a lot of their defensive stalwarts. They did leave some forwards exposed. So let's talk about the, the pick from the champs. And McLemore, you have the card there. 
from the Tampa Bay Lightning, the Seattle Kraken select, Yanni Gord. So Yanni Gord, a pretty skilled centerman. Yeah, and Gord. A nice round of applause. He's, you know, one of the most important players on this cup champion team. He's a momentum changing player who does it all. There's not that many players in the league that can do a little bit of everything. That's exactly what Yanni Gord does. He's tenacious on the forecheck and just a relentless player overall. There are a lot of good players available, Chris, from Tampa, but this is an awesome pick. Penalty killer face up. It's nice to have a guy who's got his name on the Stanley Cup a couple of times, right, as you bring together a team of guys and try to develop chemistry. For sure, and you look at that, those teams like Tampa that are so stacked, there were some options to be sure. So Yanni, it's a short off season. Rest up and get ready for all this energy in Seattle <laughs> when you make your way up here. Next up, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Speaking of restless fan bases, Dom, as you well know, the strong regular season kind of forgotten as they blew the 3-1 lead uh, to Montreal. They have the longest Stanley Cup drought in history. It's going to be, what, about 20,000 days <laughs> very soon. <laughs> Wait, how long was the Sabres drought? Now you're rubbing in the Leafs drought. So they bring up 16 <laughs> years with no serious wins. We will go... <laughs> Long distance poking. Uh, the border's opening soon. I better be careful. Let's go back to Kevin Weeks. Uh, the iconic Pike Place fish market to reveal the choice from the Maple Leafs. Well, you can't come to Seattle without coming to the iconic Pike Place market. Now, for today's purposes, we're going to call this Pick Place for obvious reasons. I'm fortunate to be joined by one of the owners here in Jason. Now, Jason, i got a question for you. Yeah. How much does this cracking cost right here? You can't afford it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right, well, with that, the Seattle Kraken select from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Crack Jack. Crack Jack. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Forward, Jared McCann. Chris and Dom, back to you. Yeah. Well, there has never been a pick made like that. No, no, for ever. sure. And if you're looking for the pick like William Carlson or Jonathan Marcheseau from 2017, where an undervalued player becomes a star, this is the guy, Jared McCann, playing behind Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin in Pittsburgh. And take this, Chris, when, when Malkin was out, McCann took his spot on the power play, had the most goals per minute in the league on the power play while Malkin was out. So I'm sure Alexander Mandricki and the analytics staff here in Seattle were crunching the numbers on that. Let's talk more about the analytics. Uh, kind of a whirlwind week for McCann, just straight from Pittsburgh. A few days ago, now he's headed to uh, Seattle. There's some speculation that might go with Alexander Kerfoot, a goal scorer with, with two different teams in recent years. But talk about you know, the importance of centers and, and why they're so hard to find in expansion uh, drafts. Well, I mean, you look around the league, the centers are the top players on all the teams, so they tend to be protected. So in the expansion draft situation, there's not a lot of top centers available. So you look at Kerfoot, you look at McCann. McCann is a guy with, given the opportunity, he can really blossom. So there's a real commodity. If you look at Vegas, despite all the success that they've had, you know, they've got strength in goal, strength on D, and some talented wingers, their Achilles heel is still a little bit down the middle.